Welcome back to Broken Electronics. I'm Lee, and I'm really glad you could stop by here today. Uh, before going further, I do want to apologize for the strobing that you're seeing on this. Uh, this kind of thing was happening with this camera when it was on my main setup in Studio A, which is why I replaced it. Uh, I connected it here, and it seemed to be working fine for quite a while, but here we go again. Uh, in any event, uh, I have booted up in front of me my 4,1, now flashed to a 5,1, 2009 Mac Pro, which I lovingly refer to as the Bakersfield computer. Um, there are really only two major hardware upgrades yet to go uh, before we start thinking about operating systems. What we're going to do today is one that I really want to do, I really need to do, but I really don't want to do it because it's an incredible pain in the neck. Wi-Fi. All right, inside this bag here. We have a combined Wi-Fi Bluetooth card. Uh, these generally are pulled, I believe, from 2013 iMacs uh, in order to get them to operate in the Mac Pro. We have an adapter. Now, what makes this particularly difficult, you'll see when we get it opened up, but the existing Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are separate cards, and Apple, in their wisdom, located these two separate cards at different ends of the logic board. So we have a couple of other things here. This cable, which will connect to the Bluetooth data and then connect it to this card. And finally, they actually sent two of them, uh, an antenna cable. Uh, so, we can then work the antenna lead from one side of the Mac Pro to the other side. Uh, and, you know, you'll get a look at this. I, I will point out before we get started with this upgrade, this is a very, very, very difficult one to actually record. Uh, I've seen some videos of people trying. What you end up with is someone's hands and arms in the way, so you can't see what's going on anyway. Uh, so I'll probably do most of the actual installation off camera and then try to catch you up as to exactly what's going on. So if you're interested in following along with this, please stay tuned. All right, first step in the process is to take out the CPU slash RAM tray. In order to be able to actually see the lower part of the logic board. Uh, now, the. I should have gotten some light here, but the current Bluetooth card is here. And you find the, the data connection and the antenna connection both in that same place. The current Wi-Fi card is over here. So those cables I was showing you will have to run through here behind in order to connect. Oh, <clears throat> all right. Now I'm going to, I know this is a very short clip. This video will probably be a series of very short clips, but <clears throat> we'll get back into this. I need to reconfigure the camera and everything so you can at least see a little bit. Stay tuned. Okay, I think you get a little bit better look here. This is the Bluetooth card. You see where the antenna lead is connected. And here is the data connection. Okay, so I disconnected the It really doesn't want to come out, but I can at the very least. Let 
No, I can't. That doesn't want to turn at all. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm going to have to fiddle with this. Stay tuned. All right, that's done. Wi-Fi card is out through the use of <clears throat> a drop of liquid wrench plus some screw extracting pliers that have proven very, very handy. And I have connected the antenna leak. Now, this is one of the big hassles. That, that took me like five minutes of fiddling. They're so small. And to try to get in here uh, to accomplish all of this is not easy. Uh, but anyhow, I do believe it's done at this point. Uh, and I heard it snap in pretty, pretty convincingly. All right. Now, turning our attention over here. Okay. Hopefully this is going to move. That's a Torx. That's a Torx. Okay. Uh, I'll try the smallest Torx driver. And that actually turns pretty easily. Okay, so this has got to come out. These need to be disconnected. You can see right down there is an unused connector that will be used with a new one. All right, then. Let me get to this. Stay tuned. All right, the old Wi-Fi card is out. The two connected antenna leads have been taken off, and there is the third one. One and two are labeled. The other one isn't, but that should be fairly obvious. And we definitely have uh, the Bluetooth cable here. All of these connect into here. Now, what makes this problematic is that when you connect it into the adapter, it's upside down. So I'm going to have to connect this with uh, the card off. Now, this is where the Bluetooth data connection goes. And that's very easy to do. All right. This is probably going to take somewhere between half an hour and an hour of fiddling and saying perhaps some not nice things, although I generally don't do that. And we will see how long this takes. Stay tuned. Okay, there's a clip missing here. Uh, the last clip you saw was me about to work on installing the new Wi-Fi Bluetooth card. Uh, just to catch you up, it took me a good hour to get that card installed. Uh, finally, it did install, I'm glad to be able to say. Uh, I, f I kept finding I could plug three of the antenna leads in, and then getting the fourth lead in was almost impossible. Uh, I ended up plugging in three and then taking all three of them out and trying again. I was hoping I'd be able to give some tips as to the right order, but I don't think there is a right order uh, with one exception. Uh, basically, you just get those three antenna cables connected. The one exception is do the Bluetooth cable last because with that long wire that's in there, you have a little lee room 
in there, a little legroom in there. You can get it to, uh, to connect a little bit more easily. But all told, it took me at least an hour, maybe a little more. I took breaks in there. I, I took a, a dinner break, a, a lot going on there. Uh, but we do, at this point, have the card installed. And the next clip that you're going to see will be our first attempt at booting said card. Stay tuned. Well, hopefully things are going to work and this will be a short video. The fact that we see the Wi-Fi fan here is a good sign. The fact that we are connected uh, prior to the upgrade, we had uh, that grayed out and indicated no hardware was found, meaning really that the Wi-Fi card was not supported in Mojave. Okay, so looking about this Mac, and we're going to go straight to System Profiler. Start on Bluetooth. All right, yeah, Bluetooth 4. Handoff is supported. Excellent. Little Wi Fi. All right, it's all looking good. Airdrop is supported. Okay, this is good. And 802.11ac. That's exactly what we're looking for. All right, this is good. Now we can check out a Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. Okay, the iPhone is now popped up. That's a good thing. Ah, Jesus. Sorry about that. Um, this is going to take a little bit of doing. Okay, come on. Yeah, me thinks there's some tweaking that needs doing. It's not showing up. Okay, there we go. All right, now let's see if we can send a picture. It's sending. And it's sent. And look, it's the family portrait. All right, this is looking good. I think we're in very, very good shape here. So yeah, this is probably going to end up being one of my shorter videos, certainly, because I had to do so much of it off camera. Believe me, you'd have gone out of your mind trying to watch me do all of that. And yeah, I know I could have time-lapsed it and all of that, but you're just not going to get anything out of it because, I mean, everything's covered up by me trying to get into the machine and do the work. I had hoped I would be able to give some guidance as to the best order to connect the antenna leads to the Wi-Fi card. Uh, I don't. I don't think there is a good order because no matter what you do, the last one you do is going to be problematic. However, I can say that the sensible thing to do is to connect the Bluetooth last. When you do that, it's, that wire, as long as it is, it gives you a little bit extra to play around with. All right, in any event, be good to other people. They need it and deserve it. Be good to yourselves. Any good we accomplish in this world has to start with being good to ourselves. We will make this world a better place since it is not yet pleased. Take very, very good and careful care. 
Uh, all right. Now, what's up next? One of the next big things to come up, the last big upgrade to this machine. The brain transplant. Upgrading the processors so we end up with two six core processors, a total of 12 cores, 24 threads, running at 3.46 gigahertz. At least that's the plan. We'll see if that happens. And then we've got more to come with this machine. We've got to make some decisions about operating system, Mojave. I like Mojave. I've always liked Mojave. It's a very good version of the OS. But it's out of support now. So we need to do something about uh, about that. And yeah, we'll be talking more about that once we're done with the with the brain transplant. Uh, and, of course, we've got more Power Mac things coming up. We've got some uh, EMAC things. We've got a whole bunch of things planned in the channel, and I'm sure there'll be more that I'll be thinking of. So, until such time as those things do appear on the channel, this has been Broken Electronics. <laughs>